What is going on everybody, Rod J back again. Thanks for swinging by to check out this video. Today I'm gonna to actually take a look at a cheese and the next few videos are actually gonna be a few cheeses. You may see this not only here on the food channel but you may also see it on the beer channel as well because all of these cheeses I'll be talking about can be paired with beer or if you're a wine drinker, that as well. So let's go ahead and get into this one. The first cheese I'm gonna actually take a look at here for this video is the bergamot and hibiscus rubbed frontal cheese. They say this one is actually a good one to pair with a Saison or if you're a wine drinker, a Pinot Noir, a Pinot Noir. So here is a look at the cheese here. I probably should have used a darker plate, but there is the slice of cheese. We'll get up here so you can kind of see the rub that took place on it. Here it is from the side as well, from the other side and from the bottom. So the rub is only on the top part. And a little bit about the cheese here. This award winner from Cello features a luscious, interesting custom blend of aromatic bergamot tea, hibiscus flour, and complimentary spices. This magical spice blend is a great, somewhat unexpected pairing with a funnel cheese as smooth and creamy as this one. A deep and delicate purple hue showcases the flavor infusion. So that's what we're looking at here. I won't get into the calories and the and all that kind of stuff. I know you guys care about that. You're trying to enjoy some cheese, but just know this one is actually a nice one that's low carb, also packed with protein. So this one piece of cheese here actually uh, will actually have enough protein to be 24 grams of protein. And carb wise, it's only four carbs. So for those of you on the keto and all that kind of stuff, you can kick back and enjoy this one with no problemo. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and cut. I'm going to cut the cheese. Ah! I'm just going to cut a piece here as well. Take a look at it. I like the the rub as I brought up here earlier on the camera. It's got a kind of a a rub that you would kind of put on something like a a meat or whatever you would be grilling. It's got a nice color on it. The color kind of sits as a little bit more of a cream type color, so to speak. Nose wise, you get a little bit of a spice. You get a little bit of kind of a hibiscus type feel. But it's got a nice amount of aroma there for the nose taste wise. Mmm. Mmm. It's got a nice peppery feel. That nice creamy base to it. Melts in the mouth. Mm. I'm gonna have to eat this whole piece tonight. I'm just saying. That is a really good cheese. A little bit of a sour type feel in there as well. Can definitely see how this would match up with the Saison. As far as wines, I've never really been a big Pinot Noir type fan, so I may have to check that out in the back end at some point. But as far as the Saison, this is definitely right on point. Mmm. It's just so creamy. Literally, it feels like your mouth's in your mouth. Sorry, I hate talking my mouth full. <laughs> That spice just jumps right out at you. And if you hold it there a little bit after you chew it down, lay it on the tongue, it's just flavor all over. This is very nice. This is one of those cheeses I can eat all day long. Mm. You look at it and you wonder if being a block of cheese like that, it was gonna have that hard type feel or whatever, but no, it's like, just like a mushiness in the middle of it. Now once you start chomping, it just goes right down. I dig this one. I'm glad I picked this one up. Um, as far as anything else with it, if you're a cheese fan and you like some of the earthiness of a type of cheese, this is one that really fits that bill. So a very nice one. Again, this is the Bergamot and Hibiscus Hand Rubbed Fontal. Sounds dirty, doesn't it? That's a little dirty yeah, there. Baby. Um, a great one to actually check out for sure. I was trying to check out like the purple hue. I, it's kind of got a little bit of that purple hue once you cut it open. If you look up in the top half, kind of has a little bit of a purplish color there as well. Not a heavy one, but just a little bit of a shade in there. 
yeah I'm, I'm digging this one so I'm gonna go ahead and finish eating this and thanks for you guys joining me if you've had any cheese like this one before if you've had this type of style let me know again this is from cello and their website is www.cellocheese.com if you want to check them out I'll have some more cheeses that I'm going to actually uh, share with you guys that are also from Cello, I believe. And these are ones I just picked up at my local Kroger. But so far, out of the gate, I am enjoying them. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. I look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Keep eating that good food out there. Or, if it's on the beer channel, <laughs> keep drinking that good craft beer. And I look forward to uh, our next video. Cheers, everybody.